Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you? I hope you all are fine. Today we will discuss our lecture, General Insurance Nationalization Act 1972. So, may I hope well, uh, you are learning my all videos uh, attentively, thoroughly and uh, very accurately. So, today our lecture is very, very, uh, very, very good at and a very interesting topic. What is the General Insurance Nationalization Act 1972, which is the uh, page on 91, no, so 92. This act came, this act came into the force on 1st January 1973. This act gave effect to clues of Article 39 of the Constitution of the India. Article 39 read as follows. As follows, the state shall direct uh, its policy towards the securing, uh, securing that the operation of the economic system does not result in concentration of the wealth and the means of the production so as to prove harmful to the common interest of the <coughs> community. Under this act, uh, there were uh, no longer private insurance in the country. As a result, a general insurance business became the domain of the state. The General Insurance Corporation of the India uh, became the holding company uh, with four subsidiaries, namely United India Insurance Company with the head office in Madras, Oriental uh, Insurance Company with the head office in New Delhi. National Insurance Company with head office in Kolkata and a new Indian insurance company with head office in Bombay. The ownership of all the shares of both the Indian insurance company and the foreign insurers uh, from then uh, on visited in the central government with the effect from 1-1-1973 uh, the services of all the personnel in the private sector were also transferred to the holding uh, holding company and the distribute uh, subsidies based on the factors such as qualifications seniority position and the location objectives of the act the object of the uh, the object of the act was uh, primarily to provide for uh, acquisition acquisition of the shares uh, of the existing general insurance companies to serve uh, the needs of the economy by the developing uh, by the development of the general insurance business to establish the GIC by the central government under the provisions of the Companies Act of 1956 with an initial authorized authorized shares capital uh, 75 crores 75 crores to aid, uh, to aid assets and advise the companies in the matter in the matter of the setting up of the uh, standards in the conduct of the general insurance business, to encourage the healthy healthy competition amongst uh, the companies as far as possible, to ensure that the operation of the economic system does not result in the concentration of the wealth to the common determines so i hope uh, you are learning this video very uh, attentively accurately if you have any query you can put a question and i'll give you an answer uh, thank you so much for watching the video and we will meet you in the next video with very uh, authentic and uh, appreciation thank you so much Allah